Joining me now is 2024 presidential candidate and anti-woke entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, great to have you back on the program. Um, you know, especially talking about this this woke AI, uh, a lot you know, that people are curious about right here. And you've got big tech giant Microsoft. They're pouring 10 billion dollars into artificial intelligence. Um, knowing what we know about big tech censorship of conservative voices, opinions that they uh, don't align with the leftist regime, should we be concerned about their plans with AI? AI. We should absolutely be concerned. And what they're doing is it's a waterfall of accountability. They're now kicking the can further down the chain to blame the AI. So just like big government effectively kicked the can to big tech, where government deputized big tech to censor through the back door, what government could not censor through the front door, now this goes one step down the cascade to say that it's not even human beings doing it. It's not technology companies at all. It's just the artificial intelligence. And here's the danger in that. Human beings, we human beings have a propensity to view computers or artificial intelligence as a source of authority. And so what happens is when AI tells you that this is how you address climate change, or when AI tells you or the next generation of Americans that this is how you address racial injustice, people view that as though it's a fact, like it's converting degrees of Celsius to Fahrenheit, when in fact those are political questions that ought to be settled through free speech and open debate in the public square. That is the American way. And so I think it's really important that we rem remain alert to the politicization of AI in the same way that we've seen the politicization of companies themselves over the last 10 years. The next frontier is now kicking that to AI itself. Yeah, very concerning. And, you know, for years, I mean, Elon Musk, he's someone who's against overregulation. He's been sounding the alarm uh, on regulating artificial intelligence. I mean, the average age in the Senate is 63.9 years. In the House, it's 57.5 years. Um, we don't have leaders who grew up with this technology. You're 37 years old. You're a tech entrepreneur, a very successful one. Do you have an answer for what AI regulation should look like? So I think that it should, we should approach this very carefully. The first is actually educating the general populace itself. Because if you listen to the core of my critique, it's the fact that human beings, and especially young Americans, exceed too much authority to AI, even when it's feeding them moral perspectives. So I'm a, I'm a general skeptic of regulation whenever possible. I like the lowest hanging fruit possible first. And the lowest hanging fruit is actually educating the next generation on the fact that just because AI gives it to you doesn't mean you should be any less skeptical than if another human being fed you the same thing. I think that's our best line of defense. And then after that, look, I think that it's going to be about actually making sure that AI doesn't reach beyond the cage for which it was created. And so any regulatory framework is about keeping AI at least on the realm of the Internet. And this is really where the metaverse becomes dangerous, because that's about dissolving the boundary between the online world and the offline world. And so I think any regulation should at least be centered on making sure the boundaries between the online world and offline world remain intact. That's the short version of the story. So let me ask you, Vivek, uh, the obvious about your campaign. Uh, you sure. announced recently your run for the White House. You've got the campaign slogans behind you. Uh, you're challenging Donald Trump, who's been a very popular president, very popular candidate now, uh, has a large following. Tell us why voters should not vote for the former president. Well, I'm going to make the case for why voters should vote for me. And I'll tell you, Donald Trump is a friend. I respect what he did in 2015 as an outsider. He sets a very high bar in this primary. But I'm running to exceed that bar, to take the America First agenda to the next level. Because as I've said many times now, in order to put America first, we have to rediscover what America is. And I'm willing to take on issues that no Republican, even Trump, hasn't really touched. I've committed to end affirmative action in America. The U.S. president can do that because it actually involves rescinding an executive order from Lyndon Johnson that created affirmative action in America. No Republican president has touched it. I'll touch the untouchable. Same thing with respect to climate religion. A lot of Republicans dance around that issue. I've been very clear. I will abandon climate religion in America. I'm ready to use military force to secure the border and, yes, to decimate the cartels in Mexico to put an end to this fentanyl crisis once and for all. So the way I view this is building on the foundation, the America First Foundation that Donald Trump laid and laid well. We need to now take that to the next level and also do it in a way that I believe can actually deliver national unity. And I think Donald Trump is misunderstood. I know him. He cares about national unity. So do I and so do the American people. But the question is, who can actually deliver it? And my reason for entering this race is that I believe I can be that person. But you know what I would say? 2023 is about the what and the why. Let's define the agenda. Good things are going to happen. 2024, it'll be up to the voters to decide.
Well, it's going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, that almost sounds like an endorsement, Vivek. It's going to be uh, very interesting to watch how this might all play out. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are, are curious about what the ticket might look like. Uh, we'll be keeping a close eye, but wish you the best and, and great to have you on the program. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good seeing you.